Before we begin, I would like to start today's program with a prayer. Please bow your heads. Father, bless us in a special way as we gather together today in your name. Watch over the Holy Name community and hold them in the palm of your hand. Help us recognize that we can do all things through you. We ask this in your name, through Christ our Lord. Amen. First of all, I'd like to thank everyone that's here today, the alumni, friends, teachers, students, and prospective students for coming. We're gathering today to celebrate a special honor being given to Holy Name High School and to the alumni John Bansett in the class of 1968. As part of this year's celebration of Super Bowl 50, the National Football League has initiated the Super Bowl High School Honor Roll. This recognition celebrates every player or head coach who graduated from their high school and was on an active Super Bowl roster. This link to the past 49 Super Bowls with this year's games honor the school and their communities where they grew up that have positively impacted both the game of football and John as a person. It is my honor and pleasure now to turn the mic over to John's wife, Mary, who is also a class of 1968 graduate, to introduce John. Mary? Thing that stands out to me the most is one of the lessons that, that we learned here that was 
such a va very valuable lesson for us in our life. And that is that we are all given God-given talents. That every talent that we have, that everything special that we can do was given to us by God. And I think that John and I, if we compared our talents, we have very different ones. Um, I could not sack a quarterback if my life depended on it. I just, I couldn't make a tackle if my life depended on it. But he could sit down with a young heroin addict and try to teach him that there's a better life out there for him. So our talents are, are, are varied. But the talents that we bring, that we brought together, is the talent that we have for raising a family. And we are so blessed. We have three children. We have six grandchildren. We have one that could be born right now for all my know any day now. And, but I think what's so important um, to me is that we get these talents from God. And the way we respond to God is what we do back to Him. So you know what your talents are. Take your talents to heart. Give them back to God by using them the best that you can. That would be my only message today. Now, the reason that I'm up here is because I get to introduce John. And I have been probably at hundreds of events where John was a guest speaker, and I would listen to somebody else introduce him. And they would start with, um, he's a former Marine. That's pretty cool. Um, and I'm very proud of him for that. Then they would go on to say that he played in three Super Bowls, was a defensive player of the game for Super Bowl 13, I think. Um, and that he's currently the head coach of Robert Morris University. All tremendous blessings in our life and a tremendous journey that we've had together. And, um, but I'm going to introduce you just a little bit different. Because there's another side to the Marine and the football player and the football coach. In 1985, um, John had just retired from football and we were at an event. And somebody came up to John and said, so what's it like to be retired? It must have been so cool to play professional football. It must have been so awesome to run out on the field and have 60,000 people chanting your name. And John's standing there shaking his head. And they said, that had to be the best feeling in the world. There can't possibly have been anything better. And John looked at him and he said, but there is. He said, it's coming up the stairs at the end of the day somebody yell dance. So I'm not introducing the football player the Marine coach. I'm introducing my husband, John. <laughs> He said, wow, that's really cool. So he got my coffee, and as I was paying him, he said, so what's your name? And I probably told him that I was John Banizak. And he looked me in the eye, and he said, I've never heard of you before. <laughs> well, I did to Cleveland, OK? And uh, when I do come to Cleveland, I do like to wear more than one my Super Bowl rings, just to brag a little bit. 
okay? It's just to irritate the Cleveland Browns fans just a little bit. I could tra trace my success all the way back to the defining moment in my life where I had to make a decision on where I was going to go to high school. That was a decision that I thought out very carefully. I was not a traditional Hawaii high school student. Um, I was in the Palmer School District, 7th and 8th and 9th grade, not doing very well. And my mother um, said, listen, um, I'm gonna, I wanna, we're going to send you to Catholic high school. I said, okay. Let me have, and my brother, younger brother, had the, the, the book with all the high schools in it. And I'm paging through it. My older brother was at Chanel. That's an all boys school. I definitely don't want to go there. Co educational Catholic high school. That's for me. Okay? Um, and in thinking about it, wow, my life would have been so much different if I would not have chosen. Holy Name High School. Holy Name not only provided me with a great high school education, it also prepared me to lead a responsible, constructive, and meaningful life. Holy Name, again, obviously gave me the opportunity to meet a pretty little girl named Mary Lynn and her. We've been together ever since. Now, what Mary didn't tell you is that uh, for most of my life, I've been involved in the game of football as a player and as a coach. Football is a game, and, and I treat it that way. The work that my wife Mary does is serious work. She is the accomplished one in this relationship. She's the CEO of Greenbrier Treatment Center, which is located outside Pittsburgh, and it's a drug and alcohol rehabilitation facility. So when she talked about treating young heroin addicts, um, you know, that's something that is, is extremely serious. And she really is um, the person that I admire most because of what she does. And yes, I've gone from Holy Name High School, the corner of Broadway and Harvard, to the, United, to the United States Marine Corps, from the Marine Corps to Eastern Michigan University, from Eastern Michigan University to the defending Super Bowl champion, Pittsburgh Steelers. I've gone from the Super Bowl and three Super Bowl championship teams to a successful entrepreneur and businessman from the business world to a college football coach. A journey certainly on the road less traveled. My success is due to the fact that I've been associated with three elite teams. Holy Name High School, the United States Marine Corps, and the Pittsburgh Steelers. There is the Marine Corps way. The few, the proud, the Marines, Semper Fidelis, always faithful, once a Marine, always a Marine. There is the Pittsburgh Steeler way, the model franchise of the National Football League. The Steelers a cut above, Steeler Nation. There are 31 other teams in the National Football League, then there are the Pittsburgh Steelers. Once a Steeler, always a Steeler. There is the Holy Name way. Mind, body, and spirit. Christian values, the little Davids, the Green Way. All hail, Holy Name. Once a namer, always a namer. As a student at Holy Name, I was able 
The first two Super Bowls were my junior and senior year at Holy League. That's a long time ago. I was at the 1968 National Football League Championship game at Cleveland Stadium when the Browns faced the Baltimore Colts and the winner would go to Super Bowl III. My beloved Browns at the time got beat by the Colts who ended up losing Super Bowl III to, the, to, to Joe Namath and the New York Jets. When I reflect back on the past 50 years, I think about the odds of something like this ever happening to a kid and his wife from the corner of Broadway and Harvard. And I realized not only how lucky we were in our journey, but how blessed and fortunate that Mary and I have been. Playing football in the National Football League is a dream of most every football player that has ever buckled a chin strap. Being an underdog, okay, is something that I know very well. Knowing that odds were against me, um, I never lost that Holy Name spirit in the fight of the little Davids. It certainly was a part of my thought process as I moved from one decision to the next. Knowing that the odds were against us, we continued to fight, continued to pursue a dream that has gotten us in front of the Holy Name students, faculty, and, and teachers. It's been a wonderful journey. There's so many memories over 50 years, but there is some lessons to be learned. And the lesson that is learned is that this is a continuation of our journey. Never give up on your dreams. Fight hard, fight long. Fight long and you too will be rewarded with a fulfilling life, a meaningful life. Now there are approximately 37,000 high schools in the United States. The National Football League and Wilson are going to present about 2,000 golden footballs to all the high schools in the country that have had a graduate from that school playing the Super Bowl. Now, I would like to thank Wilson and the National Football League for giving me the opportunity to give something back to my alma mater, Holy Name High School. I would like some help in presenting this golden football to Holy Name. At this time, I'd like to call up a member of the student body. I'd like to ask my cousin, Logan Vanzak, a sophomore cheerleader here, to help me present the ball Okay, to Vice Principal and the student body. Logan? Stanislaus, which is now 
part of the Sacred Heart, I mean, Central Catholic. Um, so, in closing, I want to thank you for having us here uh, this afternoon. Uh, Coach Juan Olaski and, 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 and the neighbors, good luck tonight against uh, Valley Forge. Um, I'll be there cheering you on and, um, and hope to see a victory as you guys make your way to the playoffs. A big win tonight, a big win next week, sets up a uh, conference championship again, I believe, against Rocky River. And um, best of luck to you and, and the entire team. Thank you very much for having us. It's a great day to be a neighbor, and I really feel that. Please stand as we end all with our alma mater.